Top 5 reasons why you should main the doctor right the fuck now. Reason number 1. His power is extremely versatile. Doctor is a jack of all trades kind of killer, and while he's not incredibly strong at anything, he's got a tool in his kit for everything, and that is not something to be underestimated. Many killers will have certain scenarios they just can't do shit about. Sure, Blight, Nurse, and Wesker can all down you pretty fast. What do they do if people decide to hide? You can't hook what you can't chase, and you can't chase what you can't find. Killers like Ghostface and Myers can easily get the drop on survivors, getting an easy injury is very valuable, but they always struggle at getting the down. Pig and Sadako have built-in game slowdown mechanics, but will lose all that slowdown if they commit to a chase for too long. No matter what is happening and where you are in a match, no matter what curveballs of survivors or the great and mighty RNGs Jesus throw your way, there is always something the doctor can do about it. The only thing the doctor can't do is teleport across the map. Which is probably for the best, having a killer in the game who can find you easily, kick your ass at loops, stop you from doing generators, get a surprise hit on you, and could be anywhere at the map at any point in time, would just be a little bit too overpowered. Number 2. His power is hard to learn but rewarding to master. The Doctor's power, Carter Spark, is the most underrated anti-loop power in the game. Mostly because people use it wrong. Do not waste your time spamming shocks constantly. You want to time the shocks to hit the survivor just before they're about to enter the range of the action prompt. Then, the survivor has to either keep running and hope they make it to the next resource, or take an electric baseball bat to the back of their fucking skull. The longer the distance at the loop to the next resource, the easier it is for the doctor to get a hit. That means the doctor turns the most safe loops in the game into the least safe loops in the game just by existing. And you can always just chase unsafe loops or junk loops normally. No, seriously, play junk loops normally. From this point forward, if you play doctor and I catch you spamming your power at a junk loop, I am revoking your medical license. It takes you 15 seconds to chase a junk loop normally. Do you want to know how long it takes if you constantly spam your power? Let's find out together. Here, I'll throw it up in the corner of the screen right here while we move on to number 3. Perk value. Doctor can get value out of literally any perk in the game. You can run the weirdest shit on Doctor, and he'll still somehow find a way to make it work. Seriously, for one of my games, I literally just played with random perks, and they meshed together so smoothly, it felt like I was running a pre-made build. Number 4. Stonks. Doctor is one of the blood point killers. He and Legion are the two homies that rack up blood points like crazy. Like, if they weren't in the Entity's realm, the IRS would be keeping a very close fucking eye on them. You get lots of blood points from shocking, and you shock a lot. Doctor is basically the serial killer equivalent to the Wolf on Wall Street. Uh, an electric Wolf on Wall Street. Number 5, Drip. Another reason that the Doctor is the electric wolf on Wall Street is that he dresses the part. What other killers do you know that wear a suit and tie? Most are literally wearing fucking overalls and shit, and some are only showing up all natural. Hack's got a fucking titty hanging out. While all these losers are looking scruffy, Doctor's over here looking fresh as fuck. It always makes you forget he's literally wearing brace. Are we done chasing this fucking survivor yet? We need him to get hit before we can move on to point number 6. Hurry it up, people. Ding, there we go. 1 minute and 10 seconds. It took you 1 minute and 10 seconds to get a guaranteed hit at that junk loop pallet when you could've just gotten rid of that pallet in 15 seconds flat and not have to worry about it for the rest of the game. Because guess what? Not only did you take 1 minute and 10 seconds to get that hit, but because you got that hit, that pallet's not getting dropped. Which means you're going to have to do that whole song and dance over again when you're chasing the next survivor at that loop. But we'll talk about that more when we get to number 6. The Doctor chews through pallets. Like, you can clear the entire map out in no time. Not only do most survivors not know how to dodge or play around your shocks, making most loops result in easy hits, but most survivors won't even try to play the loop. They'll just drop the pallet for you the second you enter their postal code. I love these survivors. If you chase them for a gen, the map will become completely bald, making the rest of the game a breeze. For this reason, Brutal Strength is base kit on my doctor. Number 7. Homies got twins. Not only do your twins knock on any survivor they see, but they allow you to admire that cosmetic you paid for in game. Seriously, is there any other killer in a game that can allow you to gaze upon your drip like your narcissist gazing upon a calm silver pot? Who the fuck are the twins? Is that even a killer? Hold on, let me Google that. Holy shit. I forgot those guys existed. Is there any other killer that allows you to admire your cosmetics in game that anyone actually plays? Number 8. Doctor is a top tier stealth killer. You heard me. No, I'm not smoking crack while writing this. I plan on doing that later. The Doctor makes better use out of the perks like Dark Devotion and Tinkerer than like 99% of the killers in this game. No one ever suspects that shit and it always catches someone off guard. Dark Devotion by itself has literally won me games as Doctor. It lets me get hits on unsuspecting survivors while they think I'm on the other side of the map chasing the obsession. 
and lets me get easy hits on the obsession when jokes on them I only pretended to leave and was actually chasing them the whole time number nine You can equip insidious and pretend to be one of your phantasmal twins It's a little troll and doesn't always work, but it's always hilarious when you catch someone off guard number ten. He's black there is not enough positive representation of black people in most forms of media. And while sure, Herman Carter is a little bit of a sadistic serial killer, he's also fresh as fuck, professional, genuinely seems to be enjoying himself, and most importantly, is a doctor! That means he's like, really smart and stuff. Uh, not only that, but he worked for the government, meaning that he's like super trustworthy or something. In fact, Herman Carter is such a swell guy that he almost got his own TV show. Well, he was riding his bike when there was a lightning strike, and now he reads real fast. He's good at science and math. Black Doctor. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Where exactly did he get the bike? He stole. Number 11. His Mori is quite. shocking. Reason number 12. Did I mention his add ons? We haven't even talked about his add ons yet. That was all his base kit doctor. Doctor has some of the most interesting add-on design in the game. Each gives his madness a little extra kick. As if the dude wasn't versatile enough already. You feel like a master chess player when you're deciding which unforeseen medicinal side effects go best with your build for that day. No wonder his ears and add-ons are literally a king and a queen. I'm not going to go into what they all do in this video, mainly because I could easily spend an hour dissecting Doctor's add-ons, and no one would want to watch that. Well, I guess one or two people would actually give a shit. And on my latest video, 13 views came from Sweden, but that's no reason to make the rest of this video entirely in Swedish. Number 13. You can do a happy little doctor dance. You can either use it to help survivors do generators or in chase for the intimidation factor. Number 14. While recording this, I somehow managed to get spun by a baby Leon who had 15 hours in the game and no idea what he was doing. I want to fucking hang myself. Number 15. That anonymous mode Kate Denza from last video is no longer playing Dead by Daylight for some unknown reason. Oh no. What? What happened? What ha Oh no. How terrible. That's just... That's just awful. How terrible. Oh no. Apparently, you can get anonymous mode cheaters banned from this game. All you have to do is make a video exposing them and link it to behavior in a support ticket. Man, I sure hope that wasn't her main account. <laughs> that would be tragic. Number 16, Doctor is a blast to play. I had a ton of fun playing Doctor for this video. And it's not just because the new MMR rework gave me some interesting lobbies. I had the fortune of going up against Jesterality Swift, who managed to get four gens done before I could fucking blink. Even then, I didn't find myself panicking at all, because I knew that whatever situation I round up in, my homie, the doctor, had me covered. And sure enough, shocking this exact survivor, at this exact moment, putting them in Madness Tier 3, and preventing this specific gen from popping, and procking exactly three fucking adrenalines, allowed me to win the match. In fact, I felt so in control throughout the entire match that I decided to meme around in the end instead of actually winning. Because I wanted to Mori the streamer. This is the amount of relaxation and control that Mastering Doctor allows you. And I still wouldn't even say I'm close to mastering him yet. As a survivor main, I look forward to finding out just how oppressive a fully mastered Doctor can possibly be. Listen, I understand that Doctor is, at most, tolerable to go against a survivor. But this video is top 5 reasons why you should play the Doctor, not top 5 reasons why you should play against the Doctor. So fuck what the survivors want, play Doctor because you want to. Doctor is a highly versatile killer, his flexibility and massive amounts of mechanical depth make for a surprisingly strong opponent to face, if you don't mind getting a little creative and thinking outside the box. Or who knows, maybe I'm just biased because the Doctor was my first real killer main back before his nerf. Yeah, you heard me, the Doctor rework was a nerf. Let me explain. Fun fact, Doctor used to be the best face camper in the game back before the nerf. All you had to do was stand in front of a hook in treatment mode and spam N1 until the survivor either died or you yoinked someone who was going for the unhook. Because no one knew you could grab survivors in treatment mode. You could also use it in chase. All you had to do was sniff a survivor's ass while they were running and grab them the second they went for window vault. You could also bait them to vaulting by pretending to switch to treatment mode, only to immediately grab them. Hell, I would always just pretend to switch into treatment mode because that was the only real way to avoid consistent accusations with that particular playstyle. Doctor is an underrated killer who I think honestly deserves a lot more love than he gets. Like, a lot more love. While Doctor isn't exactly Skull Merchant, Clown, or Freddy levels of Boyd in high school, 
Very few people in the Dead by Daylight community would care if the doctor got magically removed in the next patch. Don't worry guys, I'll cover a more popular video in the next top 5 video. Probably gonna be Pig. I am very susceptible to peer pressure. Take it easy everyone and have a nice night. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm not even fucking shades, it's hilarious. Jesus, at this point I'm catching up, you better drop that pallet. You better drop the pallet. <laughs> You better drop that. Oh, I'm stuck. Suck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. That's Help. okay. Dude, Stop it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh, oh. Counter rotate. Counter rotation. That's cheating. Stop it. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And you still dropped the pallet on me. All right, I'll just try that again. Okay, do you think you can not get stuck on this loop? Let me see. Optimal? Efficiently pass, efficiently, efficiently, efficiently. Yeah. Optimal. 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 Optimal, optimal pathing. Optimal. Optimal pathing. Going back. Okay, nice. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I'm the killer. I'm the killer now. now. You're you trying to catch me. You better drop that pallet. Yo, this killer. How are you catching me? What the fuck? You're the actual killer. Yo, he has sprint burst. Dude, got, okay, he just right What there. kind of Mel Man bullshit is, uh, Mavis bullshit is this, man? Yo, I am made for this pre-nerf. Oh, 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 we're changing up now. Oh, he's counter rotating. You're cheating. Efficiently passing. Efficient, 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 efficient. All right. There we go. Efficiently pass. Efficient. 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 <laughs> efficiency! Efficiency! <laughs>